Hey guys, Deeper here. Welcome back to the channel. I hope everyone's doing well. And I've been fortunate enough to experience the first 40 minutes of Space Marine 2. And today I will talk to you about it, spoiler free of course, right? So it's not going to be a uh, story coverage, but rather how the game itself plays and functions. And let me tell you, there is a lot to be excited about. A lot, a lot to be excited about. So first and foremost, let's just start with the aesthetics. The game looks unreal. Like the way the swarms move, the way the armor shines, the glint, the detail that has gone into the characters, into the weapons, you know, the way the characters move. If you're a 40k fan, you'll absolutely love it. Even if you're not a 40k fan, you would appreciate the work that's gone into this. It's and coming from someone that's read over 80 Warhammer 40k books, trust me, it's a breath of fresh air to say that they've done this game justice. So let me just touch on the aesthetics one more time before we move on to the combat. It's, it's just, they've really captured the feel of it, especially with the Tyranids. So I've read Devastation of Bal. So for those who don't know, Bal is the homeworld of the Blood Angels and they pretty much get attacked by a tendril of High Fleet Leviathan. And then in detail describes how the Tyranid attack and this game has pretty much captured the feel of it. They move in unison. They'll try and flank you. Uh, range enemies will keep the distance. Um, melee enemies will try and close the distance. Raveners will try and emerge from behind you. Hey guys, it is honestly, if you're a 40k fan, you'll absolutely love it. Now, let's discuss the combat itself. So there's this sort of two ways or well, should I say two dimensions to, to combat. There's melee and there's ranged. And as a space marine, you will have um, access to both. Now, it's not like Gears of War, where like melee felt like more of a, how do I word this? It, it's not situational. You can use melee attacks at any point. So you have your chainsword, and then you can opt to have either a bolter or have a uh, rifle. And... The, so that complicates things in terms of how controls work, but we'll get to, to that in a second. So you can switch in between your chainsword and or power weapon, whatever it is you're using, uh, straight to a pistol. Pistols reload a lot quicker, or you can go straight to like a like a bolt rifle or bolt gun, whatever you want, to call it. So uh, the melee, the melee plays kind of like uh, if you ever played Arkham any of the Gotham games, like the Arkham Asylum or anything like that. Melee functions like that. It doesn't exactly lock onto enemies, but it's very arcadey. And you'll be able to perform, um, just like you saw on the screen, just then like, you'll be able, by blocking, you'll be able to grab Tyranids midair if you've you've done the correct sort of sequence and the timing. Um, also, for the bigger enemies, you won't be able to execute them like that, but you will be able to sort of st stagger them by blocking, and then they'll either open them up for a counter-attack, or if you've done enough damage, then you'll be able to execute them. So that's how the melee functions. Now let's discuss the range combat. I've only used bolters, so I haven't used anything else on there, like no plasma weapons or, or las, las guns. I've seen las guns in the game and they look very authentic, like the las rifles, um, the Astro Militarum uses them. You'll be able to see like um, Lehman Rust tanks. You'll be able to see a lot of like hydras, like common artillery from the 40k world and and they look exactly like the uh, the their models do so games workshop you know has come up with these models and these guys have managed to replicate them in a video game which is really something to behold um the bolters themselves they feel like a bolter should it's slow rate of fire by packs a punch and you can see it packs a punch a staggers enemy it does some serious damage, like serious, serious damage, especially like the Thermogons that they try and fight you from a range. You can shoot them from the other side of the map, like as long as you can see them, and it will blow a hole in them. Like it's so gory, it is freaking amazing. The satisfaction I've had of just like plowing into um, Tyranids or like just jumping into a melee wise, it's freaking unreal, man. Um, I managed to fight the Tyranid Warriors, so I didn't fight um, any Hive Tyrants or anything like that, so I'm not sure how the boss fights are going to work. But um, it's just like, what I fought was an actual, absolute joy. It was a joy to experience. So that's all I can share for now. I don't want to 
put any spoilers out there. Wait till the game releases if you haven't already. Uh, I wouldn't say pre-order it, but shortlist it. So keep keep an eye out on this one, guys. It I think it's going to be a freaking amazing game. Uh, I didn't encounter any bugs. Like it played well, it ran well, it was fluent. The movement was fluent. Like your Space Marine feels bulky, but at the same time, they 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 they're nimble. It's like a paradox. Like it, it, they move really really fast really really fast i've also done a video of what sort of enemies you can expect in 40k so if you haven't already please go and check that out and if you do enjoy if you are enjoying the content don't forget to hit that subscribe button anyways guys hope to catch you in the next video peace